Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and also welcome if you're new. So today we have a different video than usual outside of theme parks, but it can relate to the theme parks as well because we're basically right outside Disney World, SeaWorld, and Universal. We're here at White Castle and this is supposedly the largest White Castle in the world and just opened up a couple years ago and it's still kind of popular. Some people think it's overrated, but like um, it's been a while since I've had this. And um, it's actually, last time I had it, I thought it was pretty good. And um, the value, the price you pay, and I think it's a good value in what it is. But anyways, we're going to actually go inside a restaurant, get some White Castle sliders, and I'm just going to show you the whole experience, the restaurant, the inside, and just have a great White Castle day. So come along with me. Okay, so now starting out, this is the location of it. Right over here is actually Palm Parkway. We actually have a lot of brand new stuff over here. Over there is the World of Beer, of course a brand new Wawa, we have Portillo's, and right after Portillo's is the first Raisin Cane's in Central Florida, which is so very popular sometimes depending on the day, but here is White Castle. Basically, I think this started the whole area, and like the first day it actually opened, like there was a drive through line, it went all the way down there, it was like a huge like wait time actually just on the road itself before you actually even get into White Castle, but this is actually pretty cool. All right, so now coming on into White Castle, it's kind of a bright day, kind of hot too. Summer is coming here in Orlando, Florida, but let's actually now come inside. This is a certified restaurant. You know, almost a ways to pay, Apple Pay, Android Pay. And it's now coming inside the restaurant. Pretty slow day, I don't think there's anybody in here really. This is kind of nice. Now it's all slowed down, a bunch of pictures of White Castle in the past, families enjoying it. It's pretty awesome. Good experience, T time to come here now. That's like slow. I can actually kind of film this stuff and it's quiet. Craver's Hall of Fame since 2001. Oh, there's Stan Lee right there. That's pretty cool. The original slider since 1921. Also, this is like one of my favorite things here at White Castle. Basically, you take a napkin, dispenses it right out, gives a number to pretty cool little stations over here, little drink carriers. Here is the freestyle machine. Sometimes they have um, exclusive flavors. Let's actually have one today. Maybe not. Click that Fanta. No, it's just promoting Fanta. But it's still pretty cool to have some merchandise over here. A little fanny pack. A shirt, Atlanta, Florida. Got some tumblers over here, $20. Little plushes. Little camelback tumblers. That's a cool hat right there, actually. A little bucket hat, some sunglasses, and also here's another shirt right here, White Castle, Long Live Sliders. That's a pretty cool, and there's that hat again up there. And this little thing about the uh, merchandise, how much they are. And here is a restaurant. It's actually not too big, like with the whole area, like that's about how big the size are the restaurants over here, but still kind of cool. And also in the tables, they actually have ports over here. Looks like USB and also regular outlets you want to charge your phone going to ipad work all have some kiosk over here i'm not sure if they're actually working today but still kind of cool maybe like during the busy times they work but again here is more tables more outlets looking pretty awesome yeah this can be a pretty time to review a food over here now so slow we can actually do some stuff here <laughs> this is awesome also thank you in different languages yeah, it's pretty great. What a team member right there. The bathroom's back there. There are stations. That one's probably stocked on that because it's pretty good. 345. White Castle, family owned since 1921. More freestyle machines. Pretty cool. And here are the little slider boxes. It's pretty awesome. And you can see right there all the sliders, all the buns. Making them all right now. It's pretty cool right there. And also they have kind of sauces if you would like to do that. They have ketchup, yellow mustard, ranch, honey mustard, spicy, Dusseldorf mustard, mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, and zesty zing sauce. And here is the menu. They actually have from any 10 sliders to any 30 sliders. That's those crave cases. Pretty awesome. Slider variety. Bunch of choices. Breakfast anytime. There's your combos, shareables, shareable sliders, and also the sides over there as well. Okay, so actually now I wait for my food. I can actually just sit right here on the side and just wait for it. And then I call my name. 
Okay, so just got my food, but now I'm about to show you this process with this little napkin dispenser and also got myself a Coke, of course. Awesome cup. And let's just pull this out. There it goes. That is actually pretty cool. All right, guys, I got my seat now, and here it is. I actually got myself two meals for the price of one here at White Castle and paid less than $4 for it. And I'm going to explain it just in a second. So I actually use the Crave Nation app. This is the White Castle app. It has a little barcode right there. So it has a mobile order and also at White Castle in the location itself. And this is actually what I got right here. I actually got the BOGO free combo. So you can actually get two meals for the price of one here at White Castle, which is pretty awesome. I've never done it before and it's pretty accurate actually. And take a look at this. Free combos. I don't get no pickles. I'm not a pickle fan. <laughs> I got myself a Coke. And also, I substituted one of the uh, sides. I'll show you this in a second. But yeah, I saved myself $12.30. Pretty awesome. Okay, guys, this is what I got. I got two meals and also one of each side. I actually got onion chips. They're out of onion rings, but they have that instead. Also, I got the crinkle fries. And also, I got the sliders as well, the original sliders. They look awesome. Oh, man. And of course, I would tell, I got myself a Coke. Okay guys, now it is time to dig into the White Castle slider. It's been a while since I've had this, so here it is. There's not much really to it, but still, it's really good. Really excited to see how it's gonna be. Um, some people say it's overrated, and also you can get the same thing in the stores. Yes, but still, like it's the experience, they cook it right there, so that's a part of the experience. Mm. That is so good. The cheese, whatever kind of cheese they use, some kind of cheddar. Um, and also the onions. Like, it's really good salty. I'm not a pickle person, but also I just want the onions. A lot of good flavor to it. Mm. Yeah, this is absolutely delicious. Like the cheese is like it melts right in your mouth. Like look at that thing. That is awesome. So you should like, look inside. Ooh, yeah. Have those sauteed onions in there. Honestly, this is really good, worth the money, even if it was a regular price. Okay, so I've had two out of the four burgers so far, delicious. But now it's time to try some of these crinkle fries. It's been a while since I've had these. The last time I had them, they're pretty good. So here it is, right here. Honestly, it looks really good. You see, it might not focus. It might, might not. If not, it's okay. Hmm. I feel crinkle fries is like hard to like cook sometimes, but also all these restaurants over here, uh, White Castle, Portillo's, and Raising Cane's, they all do crinkle fries, but they're all different to their own each, them, you know, whatever they cook it. Mm. Okay, those fries were good. Now it's time to taste some of this Coca Cola. Can't resist it. Ooh, that's good. There's something about like freestyle machines, like they do really good on Coca Cola. At least some freestyle machines, anyways. And sometimes it's like it's about like how the cup is made, like the it's just like a styrofoam plastic cup. But this is pretty good. We're now gonna try our second side. Um, I've actually never had these before. These are the onion um, strings, I think they were called. No, actually onion chips. That's what it's called. And here it is, right here. Take a look at that. Basically an onion ring, but all chopped up. Mm. Honestly, so good. Like, I'm not a huge, like, onion guy, but, like, salted onions are good, and onion rings are good. Mmm. That's definitely really tasty. Mm. Alright guys, now it's time to finish the last slider again. Here it is. Just wanted to show y'all. Not much to it, but honestly, it still looks really good, man. Take a look at all that. Ooh, yeah. Alright guys, delicious meal here at White Castle. Now it is time to explore the restaurant just a little bit more and wrap this one up. Okay, so just explore around a little more. This is the corner I was eating. That nice little quaint corner. The original White Castle, 100% original, pretty awesome. Got a little poster over here from original White Castle locations throughout the time. 
It's pretty cool. Family owned since 1921. That's a pretty cool one right there. Probably gone by now. I'm not sure what location that is. Probably family right there. Take a look at that. That's pretty cool. And also on this back wall, how much like old advertisements for White Castle. It's pretty awesome. Look at that. Buy them by the stack. And now on my way out, I actually just saw this. It's called Night Castle Power Aid Midnight and also Sprite Midnight. I was actually trying to find it on here. So let's actually go here. Maybe go to Sprite. Let's see if it's on here. Maybe not. It's kind of weird. So this is all the advertisement for it, but it's not on here actually for an option. It's kind of weird, but still. Oh, there it is. Maybe I click at this one. Maybe not, huh? But I've had the uh, Sprite before and the Power Aid. It's actually pretty good. And here's another look at this main little thing over here where you actually order food. It's a pretty awesome little restaurant. It's not the biggest place, but decent size little place. Also holds 127 people. Pretty awesome. And also let's now go outside in the patio and take a look out there. Okay, so now out here in the patio, this actually has some more room out here. Big long table for like a big family, of course. It's pretty awesome. Some more trash cans out here. And of course here is the drive through Pretty awesome. Of course, they have a little cool Taco Bell across the street, and there is the double drive-thru right there. I've seen it actually get pretty busy, but right now, it's pretty chill. Okay, now exit and have some gates over here. Pretty awesome. And here's another little view on the side. This is pretty awesome. Look at that. Alright guys, that will do it here at the world's largest White Castle here in Orlando, Florida. It's been a while since I've been here and it did not disappoint returning. It was super delicious food and um, pretty awesome customer service as well because, you know, it is in the tourist area, you know, in Orlando, Florida, right in between the theme parks. But it's also a really great location and um, right now it's kind of slow because, you know, spring break's done like after the filming of this one. And um, during the summer, this probably will get pretty busy. It's a pretty convenient stop along the uh, actual hotels outside of it, whatever kind of theme parks you're going to. I mean, also, it's a really good destination as well for pricing because, like, theme parks are pretty pricey. I will say that. And, like, honestly, a meal here is, like, what, 8 to $10? That's actually not a bad deal to say for the time period we live in for just a little decent meal, four sliders, fries, and a drink. Not bad. But um, anyways, that will do it here for today at the world's largest White Castle. Hope you all enjoyed this one. And if you did enjoy this one, make sure you get a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future content. I will see you guys next one. Thank you so much for watching.